Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about yield and next function in Python. The yield keyword in Python will convert a function into a generator function. So what is generator function? Uh, it's a special kind of a function that can pause and resume. So imagine like if you are watching a video. So whenever you are watching a video, you can pause the video and you can resume the video, right? The similar kind of a functionality or the nature, you will get it when you use the yield keyword. And the way to resume the video will be that pressing that resume button, right? Similarly, if you want to resume the function execution, then you have to use the uh, next keyword. So if this is not making sense, let me explain you this with an example so that it will be more clear. So I am going to my Visual Studio code. Here I have something called notes.txt file. It is a text file which contains around 25 lines of the data. Imagine I want to write a function in Python that should read this data and print the data back to me. So for that, I will write a function here, maybe define uh, or, or I have that code written handy. So let me copy paste this code and explain you this. So I will be importing time here. I will explain why. If you see this particular code here, basically there is a function called get data, which is taking the file name and which is opening the file using the with keyword. And there is a variable got created called data, a empty variable. The file object holds your whole file and we are looping that file for every line here and we are adding all the lines to the data variable and finally returning the data. So that means we are reading the file into a file object and adding every line to the data variable and finally returning the data variable back. So this is what we are doing and obviously when we are doing all that, uh, we are introducing some delay there, uh, 0 0.1 seconds, so that we can feel the delay of reading the data and printing it back. So now let's try to create a variable called my data equals to get data, then print that data. So this line of the code invoke the function called get data and give give our file name. What is our file name? Notes.txt. Okay and uh, whole data will come there it will get print here so let's see this in action so i'm going to the terminal new terminal and uh, i will run python space demo dot py file now see it is taking some time and then finally printing the whole data back at a same time so if you closely observe we are not printing line by line the whole data came back into the data variable at a same time and, and it got printed Imagine what if, if my file size is maybe uh, 200 million rows or 100 million rows. Then there are a lot of disadvantages. Firstly, it will take a lot of time for that whole data to read and add it into the data variable here. Not only that, the data variable is holding the huge data. So it might lead to memory issues, memory overflow issues. The processor will get delay, right? So all that kind of an issues we will face. So how to overcome it? What if, if I can give the line by line back to my system and print that? Uh, that way I don't want to hold the whole data. Each line I will be reading it, giving back to my Python code and it is printing it and uh, removing that from the memory and reading the another line. So what if, if I can achieve that kind of a thing? Is there a possible to do that? The answer is yes. Using the yield keyword, you can do that. So let me rewrite the same function in different way using a yield keyword. So what I will be doing it now, I will be define get data, get data, maybe I will name it like a yield and I am giving a file name variable to it. Then with open same, I am opening a file and now if you see this, uh, uh, let me comment it out this code, it is not needed. Now, if you see this function, what I am doing it now, uh, I am again, the file is coming into the file variable uh, as an object and I'm looping every line from the file and I am yielding each line, right? If you observe it, I'm yielding each line. That means giving the each line back. That means that's where the function execution gets pause. And when you use the next function on top of it, it will resume the back. I will show you that how to use it. Okay. 
uh, and every line whenever i am looping the every line i am introducing the delay 0.1 second so that i can feel each line is getting printed separately okay so let's try to call this function and see how it will behave so i will say my data equals to that and finally i will print maybe my data so let's see what will happen now okay see if i will keep this like this so this is the code it will run now and what i will do here is in the terminal let me clear this cls and let me run the demo.py file now when i executed this print statement is printing it and saying it uh, my data is a generator object it is not printing the actual data why it is telling my data is a generator object because i use the yield keyword and it will make the function as a generator function and it will return the generator object so how to read the data from that object to do that we have to use next keyword there to read the data from it so i will use this and uh, let's try to rerun the code and see what will happen so now when it printed it printed the first line from my notes.txt file okay so what what about the second line third line as i said whenever the yield function will get call it will return the data up to that level and it will pass the execution so the execution got passed there in the memory there is only one line get passed and that's what we have printed here but uh, how to resume that so to resume that i need to use another next function to get a next line another next function to get a next line so let me show you that so let me copy this and let me paste it here now i am using two next statements now if i run this code if you observe it printed the two lines so what is happening when it is taking the second line it is actually erasing the first line from the memory and took the second line and given back so the yield is making the function execution to pass and the next is making the function execution to resume okay and in the memory whatever happening in that particular iteration even only that data will get hold not the whole data so now but in this case it is a 25 lines of the text file so i can add a 25 print statements but what if i don't know the count how to make it dynamic so instead of doing this my next function calls uh, manually i can use for uh, in this way so if you if you use if you use for what will happen it will call the next function under hood automatically so for the for loop if you give the generator object in this case my data it will call the next function automatically under the hood and it will print the lines one by one the whole file even it has a 10000 rows it will print let's run this and make it sense so i am running the code now so now see it is printing each line one after another so how that is happening because of the for loop i haven't written the next function manually there for under hood actually calls the next function and make that things happen for you so this is very helpful when you want when you are working with a huge data sets in your python code and when you are when you want to make sure that the data should get stream and there should not be any memory issues then this yield and next functions are very helpful i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching uh, please practice it once it is a cool future to try it out thank you for watching have a nice day